Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to a video about um, what what game are we doing this time? Uh, let me just look. Oh, save Jesus. Okay, roll the intro. All oh, right, I don't have one. So this is a series for the games that I've collected all the achievements in. There's a lot of those because I'm an achievement hunter. This is how I choose to spend my free time. And now I make videos about them. So at least something somewhat productive comes from it. Maybe the video helps some people in deciding whether or not they should play a game, or maybe if they should try to 100% it. And if not, maybe some of you will be entertained for a couple of minutes, so that's cool. Quick disclaimer, this video is inspired by Mortismo Gaming's review of their 100% series, you should totally check out some of his stuff as well, cool. Alright, so let's begin with Save Jesus. I will now read to you the game's description, directly from the Steam page. Ready? <clears throat> Someone is trying to murder Jesus. Disguised as Caesar with the Roman Empire by his side, an evil imposter from the future has set hundreds of deadly traps. Redirect the traps, kill the Romans, and protect Jesus. So what does this mean? Well, it, it's a puzzle game. You go through the game level by level and you solve the puzzles by clicking on some squares at the right times. It's alright. Your goal is to, well, save Jesus and kill the Romans in the process. Cause why not? If there's one thing we all know about Jesus Christ is that he loves when other people get brutally murdered. Oh and sometimes this weird guy in a spaceship or something comes along and shit talks you for a while. I don't know, but he's one of the best trash talkers in the world in my humble opinion. I mean, listen to some of his stuff. Those are my traps you're messing up. I'm just gonna have to put up some more traps. Well ain't that something? You think you can stop me? Why don't you mind your own business? We can do this over and over and over again. That's a time machine. Why are you always cutting into my business? You know what's dumb? You. This is a time machine. Now I could sit here and talk to you about this game for hours on end, but instead I think we should look at some of the game's reviews, positives and negatives. Save Jesus is the pinnacle of gaming. No other game tops this masterpiece of a game. Heck, it's not even a game, but an experience. I don't think I've ever had something so fun with a rich story for such an affordable price. I have gifted this game multiple times to my friends. I can only hope people will love this piece of art as much as I have. I couldn't have said it better myself. I hate hate this game because it's retarded and gives you autism. Whew, there's a lot to unpack here. Okay, this person not only hates the game, but actually double hates it. And now, I don't have an English degree, so I don't really know what retarded means, but I guess maybe it has something to do with baking a tart twice? I don't know. And also, this game was so bad that this person developed a brand new disease. I really hope it isn't something serious though. This game helped me preach the gospel to my friends as we played against each other. It turned my friend Kayla away from the sex trade and saved Eric, Jared, Eric, Noah from the pits of hell. So as you can see, this game is so good that in just 0.1 hours you can save your friends from the pits of hell and from the sex trade. You can even save Eric twice, because, well, you know Eric. After the first saving, he went right back to the same pits of hell. Jeremy, why buy me this? Now this person is clearly upset at Jeremy's act of kindness. When a friend buys you a game, you should be thankful. Goddamn kids these days don't know how to be appreciative. Now I'm gonna show you two reviews that talk about the same thing, but with different viewpoints. <clears throat> I bought this for my daughter. I thought it would be a very safe and non-violent game. But as it turns out, the game is very different. It has blood and you kill people with rocks that are supposed to be funny. The only Bible-based things are Jesus, Mary and Joseph. That makes me feel sadness for the next generation. They won't be able to learn about Jesus or God because of violence and their new mindsets about homosexual people is just horrible. God didn't make man to have intercourse with another man. In all this game made my daughter see unsavory things. Please do not buy this game. It is very violent and gory. I mean, <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that one, but here's the second one. Dab on those gay Romans. Yep, totally. I just want to point out that I have no idea where both of these guys got their ideas for like homosexual romans and people. There, there's no mention of this in the game, I just want to point that out. And then let's just do one more review here. Okay. 
Alright, so achievements. It took me 6.3 hours to get all the 17 achievements. The most popular achievement is Stargazer, which 40% of players got. And the rarest one is, well, 5 different achievements, because they all sit at 6.1%. You can see all the other percentages on screen. I'm not gonna read them out, because I am lazy. In my eyes, the achievements are basically split into 3 categories. Number 1, the Wow, you're so good at this game achievements. There's 5 of these. You just have to get 150 total stars for these and to beat the game for this one. Number 2, the Wow, you are so trash at this game achievements. There's 5 of these and you will probably get them without trying to get them. As long as you aren't a god gamer. If you somehow are one though, which I seriously doubt, you'll have to do some trivial tasks a few more times after you finish the game. But again, I doubt that's gonna be the case for you. You suck at games, no cap. Number 3. The, I want this game to have more achievements, so let's add some achievements for which you need to finish every single level 7 times. There's 7 of these. You need to finish 50 levels with the same ball to unlock that ball's achievement, and then repeat 6 more times for the other balls. Fun. Oh, and fun fact that I just found out after finishing all the achievements. If you click escape, you can actually choose what ball you want to get. What I did was just restart the level until I got the ball I wanted, since the ball is set to random by default. I wish I knew this sooner. Overall, the game is, well, okay. Relaxing, yet challenging. If you have some free time, I guess I'd recommend it. Getting all the achievements takes a bit of time, but it isn't particularly difficult. Thank you, Jesus. Very cool.